this is Adwan Bakhtari from Centroid and today I want to show you not a new product but a big improvement on one of our products with lots of new and exciting features. Most of you are familiar with a vacuum chamber and what they do. So a vacuum chamber is a way to take a sample directly from ambient or a source. So you see it's a box and there's a pump inside that will empty out the air in the box and then that will make it so that the air from the other side, the ambient air or source air you're trying to sample, goes directly into the bag that's inside. Some people use this as a, or refer to this as a lung sampler. So it works like our lungs by making the bag expand and pull the sample in. So that's all good and well, but uh, what is the big improvement on this, you may ask? So in this one, we actually have two pumps some of the things you will notice is that, for example, I'm just going to turn on the pump and here we go, put it on the radio. And I have here a variable speed controller, so I can adjust the pump speed from uh, 1 liter per minute to 17 liters per minute. Second thing, I can put it instead of manual on. remote and I have a remote control uh, it works up to about 200 meters or so and I can turn it on and off. Now another really interesting feature with this uh, vacuum chamber is that it has an external trigger uh, here so what you can do is you can connect it to one of the other products like Sentinel or a timer or some other circuit and in the case of Sentinel, you can instruct the Sentinel to turn on the vacuum chamber if H2S levels exceed, for example, 40 ppb. So it will turn on the, vac the vacuum chamber and we'll do that. You can put it on a timer so that, let's say from 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it starts for 10 minutes. Now, another feature of this product that also makes it a lot easier to use is it has a way that you don't have to even open the box to do purging. So purging is the process where you first pull in the sample into the bag, you empty it, and then you pull the sample that you want to actually keep and give to the lab. Why you do it is because molecules from the sample, from what you're going to take, will actually stick to the inside of the bag. Uh, there might be some dead space of air inside. So purging allows you to take a more complete sample. Here, to do that, let me put it on manual. So I have two positions for this button. I can put it up. Now that's in pressure. That means that it will empty the bag. And when I put it down, it will fill the bag. You may notice the speed difference of the motor. That's because there's two motors. When it's emptying the bag, it empties at full speed. And it will fill it at whatever speed you set here. So that's in manual mode. In automatic mode, or not automatic, remote, I have two buttons, I can push off, and that's to fill it, and, or sorry, to empty it, and that's to fill it. So this makes it so that when you're in the field, it's a lot easier to work with. I personally use this instrument, and I, I find it a lot easier to do using the remote and this feature than the old way where you had to open it to, to change it. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.